Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. Well, I've decided I'm just going to keep on working on this and we're right up here in this part of the flower. So I'm just kind of coming down. I'm working on this blue part. It looks blue to you. It's like a, a half square. And I got plenty of thread. Yeah. So how's everybody doing? What is everybody else working on? Are you working on something spring-like or not spring-like? or Just what are you working on? Just seems like forever since I had a stitch along. I know. It was Monday. What can I say? It just... It's been a long week. But today I have to go to my daughter's because I promised my granddaughter we'd start a new craft. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to do pot holders. I'll let you know how that all comes out. But, uh, yeah. So, fun, fun times. But I thought I'd do this before that and get it uploaded before I went. So yesterday was kind of nuts. We had our order and, you know, it's just one stupid crazy thing after another. And I like this time of year-ish because um, we get out of there at 9 and when... I'm working, it takes forever for it to get dark, so it's like 7.30, and then I've only got like an hour and a half of work left. But, I know, it should be a good thing. I'm just not feeling it this year. Usually it's like, yay! Because when it gets to be summer, and, you know, when it gets busier, because we have rafting season, river rafting season. Get rid of this thread here. Um, when it gets to be river rafting season, we'll get busier, so therefore we'll be open during the week till 10 o'clock at night, and then, get down please, seriously, I'm telling you, dogs, what am I doing, and uh, then it'll just make for kind of a longer day. I'll go from seven hour days to eight hour days. So, except on Monday, which is, now on Monday, I'll have to work until like five, say 10 to five or 10 to six, something like that. Because like I said, it'll be a lot busier. So, yeah, fun time. Get down. I don't know what her problem is. There's I don't hear no anybody outside. Who knows? Some days she's just silly that way. Just silly. So, yeah, the days will get longer at work, but I'll still only work two nights, and then it'll be an eight-hour day day on Monday instead of a partial day, like five hours or whatever. So, But it'll be busy, so there won't be a problem there. The day will go terribly fast, so we'll see. We will see. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm kind of looking forward to it being busier. And like I said, we usually have help for each shift. Like, I still have to watch. 
do the the night thing, but we'll tr mostly have a person that works from like ten to ten to six or eleven to six, whatever the eight hours is. I can't even remember. I figured that out in my brain. I go through this between that and the time change. I don't know which one's worse. So yeah, oh, itch. Mm. I got something in my eye. Come on, get out of there. I hate to rub my eye, I just put hand lotion on it. But we're good. So, I didn't work much on anything. I did a little bit of stitching on this last night. So, just kind of tired. Just, I usually am by Wednesday. And then when we have the order, that same day, it's like, oh, man, holy cow. Really? Save that for my third day when I'm totally tired. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I didn't stitch hardly anything. Not for any long period of time, that is. This pattern is just a, a hair off, so it kind of throws me when I stitch on it. So, we'll... I'm just trying to stay on track here. It, it's not too bad. I, I just keep working at it. So it's not affecting the pattern too much. It just doesn't meet up with the squares quite right. And this is one that, I mean, not one. I only had one other is what I meant to say that was like that. And that was that Joy Sunday. And I don't know why it was off because it really had no excuse whatsoever. But we'll just keep at it. And it's fine. I don't know if we'll go any place on Thursday. My plan is to take little pizzas over there for my daughter and granddaughter. And then show her how to do the the weaving on the loom thing. And my grandson, he's going to go to Boys and Girls Club, I think. Pretty much. So. That gets one away from the house. And of course, my son-in-law is going to be at work. So, we'll see. We'll see. Just what's happening. And then uh, tomorrow, my daughter and my granddaughter and I are going to go to... Uh, what do you call it? Go to Walmart. Granddaughter's favorite place to shop. Um, and uh, see if we can find her address and then have her birthday cake when we get back. So we'll see how that all works out. I love it when it sticks. I thought I'd do this big area because, you know, it'd be easy for y'all to see. The threads are nice in this, and so is the, the canvas. Feel of the canvas, it's not too uh, 
thick and it's not real stiff. So it, it stitches just fine if I can just get on the right square. So, but it's not deterring me too bad, so. Man, the wind has just been horrendous this week. Was it Tuesday? Oh my goodness, it was just like 20, 25 miles an hour, freezing cold. It was like, what was it, 10 degrees when I left? I mean, that was the feels like. It said it was 25 or something like that, but it actually felt like it was about 10. Felt like minus 10 as far as that goes. It was horrible. And then yesterday, it was just... Same thing. I don't know. It's like, it's a good time to go and... What did I do with... Oh, I put it back. Uh, go and fly a kite, I'm telling you. Between oh, about 10 to 30 mile an hour winds. Had a big old dust storm Tuesday night. I mean, not dust storm, but it just came on both sides of the building. Just kicking up the dust and... It lasted for maybe 30 seconds-ish, maybe, maybe a, a minute, I don't know. I wasn't out there with a stopwatch, but you know what I mean. It was unbelievable. It's a pretty color. It is, where is it, 893, it's kind of a tangerine color, if you will, it's got a little more pink to it, I don't, it's kind of a bizarre color, I can't think, it's like a dark peach, if you will, I, I, terrible at describing colors sometimes, some I get, some I can't get. was off I don't know it seems like today and Friday are totally consumed so I won't get anything done it's gonna kind of start some of the spring cleaning because they come and pick the trash up on Friday so if I have any bags of trash and stuff it's a good time say Saturday you know to do stuff I can't do stuff in the yard because that's all wet from snow and I'm just letting it dry out because it'll be so much easier to rake and haul, you know, if you put, because I'll put the stuff in, uh, what do you call it, in plastic bags. And then I have to get it into the, the dumpster thing. I need one of those little step stools my granddaughter has. It's about, ah, let go. It's about that big and it, it sits off the ground, maybe eh, six inches tops, you know. Just big enough for her to set her a little behind on, you know. I need one of those so I can step up and put the trash in the trash can. But they come on Friday and Monday. Now that works out really well in the summertime because, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes in the summer we barely make it to the trash day having any kind of room because, you know, people have been in and out. Sorry, I got have my pop car. So, Saturday seems like a good day, but it's just not, I'm not going to bag up, hang on. You know, heavy, wet stuff, because it just makes it harder to move back and forth. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But my plan is to rake the whole yard, and it's got a bunch of leaves. We've got little leaves like that in that yard. And then, with all this wind, we get 
sticks from the branches that are kind of crispy. They really need to go through this park and trim all the trees and do all the things, but that doesn't ever happen. So, and it is what it is. So, it's going to be an episode and it'll probably take like four or five hitches, you know, if I'm the only one doing it. We'll see how my daughter's back, you know, works by then. But I'm going to leave that until May. I'm not going to plant any flowers or anything. My daughter, she was smart. She got some of those plastic flowers and put out in her little, well, we laughingly call it a garden area because it hasn't really been developed or anything, you know. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But that's my, my spring, summer-ish plans more so than anything else. I was looking to see where some of that darker pink goes. But I hadn't got there. I got distracted by this color. Well, it was darker than the one I was using, you know. So. It's getting there. It's a getting there. So it's just not quite time to work on the yard. Not unless, you know, you had a man to help you and they could just haul off all that stuff. I don't know. It will have to wait. But I thought if I could do a couple bags a, a day, you know, on the four days that I'm off, that would be nice. Man, that wind is just a whooping out there. I'm telling you. But we don't ever get any bad weather. And the sun is shining. It's supposed to be like, 50, well, close to 50 degrees. But with that wind, it's going to take it down at least 10 degrees. So it's warmer than it was on a Tuesday. It was cold all day long. Just bitey cold. I forgot I was going to take some of my uh, spicy top. Spicy chai tea with me, and I left it on the counter. So, yeah, what can I say? It is what it is. So, I didn't get to have that because I was afraid it, see, it was going to be icy cold like it was on Tuesday. Holy cow. I can't win for losing. So, I came home and had it. And that there's nothing like, I don't know what it is, the difference between tea and coffee. I can drink coffee until the cows come home and I'm still cold. Yes, if I was absolutely freezing, a hot beverage would be good. Do you know what I mean? But it just seems like tea just gets down to the bones. Why is that? I don't get it. I don't understand Not a pretty color. It's just beautiful. I guess there's some dark. I'm looking at this picture. Maybe down in here. I don't know. For the most part, part it's going to be about that color. I guess. Whoop. I was sitting here trying to think where I got these scissors. I have no idea. I either got them at Amazon or got them at 123 Stitch. I just don't remember now. Not at all. I know I've had them probably since. Before I, excuse me, before I started doing reviews. So, I don't know. 
Amazon had a whole bunch of scissors and one, two, three had some, some different ones. I don't know. Can't. Wait a minute. No, that's mine. But I like to collect scissors, not too obsessively. And you know what cracks me up is everybody's using those, what do you call those, flower frogs? My mother had three of them. I don't even want to discuss it how, you know, I could have had those if I'd only known. Now I can't find them to save my soul anywhere. I mean, I could order them. But it seems like all I could find when I went to look to order it were the uh, the plastic ones. And I don't want the plastic ones. I want the glass one. And I have a glass bowl that it would actually sit in. I have several glass bowls. Because, you know, I collect those. And I got some little bitty... I don't know. Let's say if you are somebody... Whoops. Don't stitch that one. Um, on TV. And you are showing a recipe. These bowls, I swear, are no bigger than that. And they're about that deep. And they're made by Pyrex. And I... I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. And they are bigger. So they're like a... They need to be clean. Single serving little Pyrex bowl. You could make a... Since they're Pyrex, you could, if anybody still does this, you could make custard in your oven in them because they're not going to break. And it doesn't say a date. It says 414 trademark registered Pyrex, U.S. Patent Office, and then it says A.N. But I just liked them because I can put, like, salad, you know, or I can just put a serving of something in it. And there were four of them. So I bought all four of them. I don't know that they're the same. This one says JBJ. That one's the same as the first one I read you. That says JU. It's 414. So there's still 414, and this one says A, A N, but I just thought they were cute, and I I like little bowls like that. I use them all the time for to put a little sauce in if I'm gonna have like chicken strips or something. But I found those at Newbies. I didn't find anything. They had, oh my god, they had a let's call it a shoebox size plastic container full of DMC that was in little plastic baggies and I don't know what they would have charged me you know if I'd just gotten the whole damn thing I have no idea but I didn't feel the need to scarf that up so and I wasn't looking for any color in particular I know I walked away from DMC I sure probably shouldn't have and it's probably gone now but you know it is what it is. But, you know, sometimes I feel like a hoarder and other times... Shoot, i got to get back and get that one. You know, it's like, no, nah, why drag it home? So, yeah. But I didn't find anything. I don't know. I think I got these the same day I got that loom thing. So that... And those were the only big deals that I got. And, uh, yeah. So, I just pick and choose my days. Didn't see any books I liked. So. Other than that. And I don't know that... I guess I started to say if I'll make it there or not today or not so whoops I'm doing the wrong one again oh well nobody will ever know but me no big deal 
So I, I like stitching on this. And like I said, I'm just going to keep this as my little spring thing that I do. I'm kind of getting wore out on the the bristle. I was thinking about getting um, one of my count, another counted out and working on it. I really want to purchase a couple from uh, Hands Across the Sea, but no, I haven't gotten that far yet. So. She's just sitting up there looking out the window. Hey! Hey! Really? I mentioned your name and you got a bark. You're something else. You are something else. Worked a little bit on my diamond painting on Tuesday. I had to reorganize the desk and reorganize the light. And I had it. It was stretched so far that I had to kind of step over it before I even pulled the chair up. And then I remembered I have an extension cord. Huh, what a concept that I hardly ever use. So I got the extension cord and fixed the light here so it's on the same side as it used to be so we're doing good I can see now because otherwise I was working against myself and I do hate that part alright guys well I think that's gonna be it for today I'm just gonna lay that down so we got most of it down in there I just gotta go back that away and hopefully we can get some darker colors or you can start to see the the tulips evolving here. I don't know about that background. We're just going to work on it later. I just want to see a finished tulip. All right. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.